Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to flash your OBD2 BMW E36 with an RK tuned. This works for any tune, not just RK. Uh, mine is specifically, mine is just RK, it's the title of the video. Uh, but you, it, I'm just going to show you how to put it in the right mode. So this is, I have my tune, I'm ready to flash it. Uh, I think the shark injector that Turner Motorsport has is a little bit different. I'm not really sure how that works. This is just like a standalone tune. You want to flash your ECU. This doesn't work for OBD1, obviously. Uh, OBD2, MS41 ECU, so any M52 or S52 motor that is what this applies for. Um, it's going to come around here real quick. Uh, oh, another thing to note definitely plug your car in. You don't want the battery to die while you're flashing it. You know, break your ECU. Uh, not fun time. So, what most tuners do, RK tells you to do this, is you pop this connector off it's really easy it's like a clip here it pulls up and then they have you connect f pin 14 and 18 under here which you can do and it does work but it's a bit more permanent than i would like so i'm going to show you another way you can do it without having to do any of that and just to prove to you that this works i'm going to go to my scanner real quick so on my scanner you can see that i have currently a po 600 code which is for, you just look at that's all that is, which is for uh, the manual swap. This is a manual swap car. So it, that's the computer freaking out. It's like, oh, the transmission's gone. No, no, it, it's just, you have to tune it out, essentially, which is part of what my RK tunes is going to do. So that's just to prove that it works. When we're done, I'm gonna show you this again, and this will no longer be in the ECU. So to start off, get yourself some wire. I just have standard 16 gauge wire. I have a lot of it because I'm gonna use it for something later. But you don't you don't need nearly this much. This is just what I found at Home Depot. It was like five bucks. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with this. Okay. So in this connector, you have to connect pins 14 to 18 and pins 2 to 17. This looks a little messy. I'm gonna fix it, but that's a general idea and you need to make sure that these stay in the whole time the ECU is flashing. Otherwise, uh, it just won't work. It won't damage anything, but like it won't, it just won't flash uh, and it'll be very annoying because you'll have to do it again. Uh, but basically, you just make sure that your pin stays in 14 and 18. This one stays in 2 and 17 because 14 to 18 puts the ECU in write mode, and 2 to 17 bridges your OVD2 connector to the ECU to make sure that it can actually read the flash. So now I'm gonna go flash it, and then I'm gonna prove to you that this does work. All right, so this is gonna be pretty hard to see, but as you can tell, I haven't closed the lid. If normally on the RK Tunes flasher, if you hit ECU data down here, and the lid is open this you won't get numbers here like you're supposed to so i got the numbers here now i have to come here and grab my file got my file loaded up here and now we are going to uh we're going to write it So I'm going to let that do its thing. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, I did the ignition stuff to tell you to do that in the instructions. So the computer should be flashed. And just to prove to you that I left the thing in, I'll show you. That's all still over there. You can see it. I'm going to go back to my OBD2 scanner, and I'm going to show you that the code is now gone. It's flashed. Okay, real quick, before we do that, you might notice it is a new day. Uh, the reason for that is because I actually flashed my ECU, and I got flashed with RK-Tunes, but I couldn't prove it to you because RK-Tunes forgot to put the manual swap code delete on the file. Um, I'm going to reflash it now. I just wanted to get that out of the way, so if anyone's like, oh, it's a new day, whatever, that that is why uh, it will work. So now you can see the fault code is gone. Now, it does say down here there's pending fault codes. That is something you cannot fix with tuning. You need, uh, there are other underlying things you have to do, but it doesn't really affect how the car drives. I simply wanted to do this to, so I could prove that this works. Uh, you now see it's not reading any fault codes. Look, I'll 
hit OK. Or escape, rather. And again, up there it says pending, but if you click it, there's nothing. Uh, so that's how you can flash your ECU without actually modifying the car. Uh, just takes a little bit of understanding how the whole pin connector works. Please don't mind how dirty this is and all this. It's winter. Forgive me. Um, again, if you have a manual swap car, uh, transmission warning light up here. It's not going to fix any of that. Uh, you simply are just going to have to do a little more research. I think it's the ECU or maybe the wiring harness. Not 100% sure, uh, but it's one of those two. This, I just want to prove to you guys that this worked. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if it was, you know, like, comments. Uh, I have a couple other little maybe DIYs I want to do. I just, I didn't feel like this was something that anyone had really talked about, so I felt like a video would have been helpful to a lot of people. So I'm going to recap real quick. All right, so to recap step by step, you have your tune, plug your car in so the battery doesn't die and you don't break your ECU. Connect, pins, 2, 17, 14, and 18 uh, so that your ECU can be written over, load up your tuning software, and flash the car. That's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed that, and it was helpful. All right, thanks.